probably the biggest takeaway when we visited Team New England last week was that this program is about so much more than just basketball. Sure, they're one of the biggest programs in New England, with over 70 teams spread across the region, and they have a proud alumni tradition, with guys like Kadari Richmond and Femi Odakali in the Big East and ACC. Even last year, amidst the pandemic, five different players earned scholarships, with others committing to places like Middlebury. More important than all of that, though, is the program's mission to serve underprivileged inner-city kids and to do it free of charge. That includes a free summer enrichment camp for 50 kids in the city of Boston, corporate internships for high school juniors to get real-life work experience, and even access to their own home court facility in Dorchester, complete with classrooms for tutoring and academic support. This is what Isaiah Davis envisioned years ago when he left his day job to build this program, and TNE is more than on their way to achieving every bit of it. Of course, the basketball is pretty darn good too. This year's team is led by a pair of returning veterans, Ademide Badmus and Dion Brown. True to his name, Badmus is a bad man inside the paint. He's not just powerful, but he has footwork, fakes, and poise, not to mention some touch and signs of a passing instinct. Brown is an explosive athlete in the backcourt who can rise up for a big bang in transition, but is equally adept at shaking his defender in the half court. Mikai Diedrich is a top-notch playmaker in his own right and one of the best in the city of Boston. Ty Higgins provides a knockdown shooter, while Orlando Wallace and Ugo Nwakchu anchor the interior alongside Badmus. Program veterans like Jaden Hill and Martin Wilson have been with the club since the sixth grade and exemplify the program's commitment to leave no one behind, and they've built themselves into legitimate college prospects along the way. There's also no denying how bright the future is, as the overall talent in the program seems to get better with each passing year. Jack Margupis has been one of the biggest breakout players in the region this spring. He's got a terrific blend of size at 6'8", legit guard-type skills, and solid athleticism. Tyrese Mello-Garcia is a long-scoring guard on the rise as well, while Hassan Jenkins and Josh St. Jean are two more talented up-and-coming youngsters. Dwayne Thompson, who's set to join Cushing Academy's class of 2024 next year, is already the program's most recruited prospect, with a handful of early D1 offers, and it's easy to see why, as this jumbo wing is highly skilled with great early size on the perimeter. Ramsey Chico holds early offers of his own in 2024. He's as tough as they come, and already highly skilled and able to create for himself and others. Trey Resendez is a great backcourt complement in 2024 because he's a throwback floor general who can run the show and has a feel for the game beyond his years. Collectively speaking, there's no denying this program is poised to once again assert itself as one of the very best in the area. But more than that, they're giving kids opportunities they wouldn't otherwise have, teaching translatable life lessons about attitude, energy, and effort and using basketball as the mechanism to make it all happen. Yeah.